if you've ever wanted to fire a 40 millimeter because of Battlefield Bad Company, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. The comment section is out of control. I will do nothing to control you. Make sure you get down there. Be your crazy little selves. If you guys are looking to support the channel, the biggest support of the channel right now is Big Daddy Unlimited. Big Daddy Unlimited is like the Costco of the gun world. 99 cents for the first month after that. Price goes up. Is it worth it? Are you worth it? And of course, we have our other sponsors. We have Sword International, with whom we are developing a piston-based uh, AR. Uh, they've already developed it, but we're kind of doing some signature things, so it should be pretty cool. Definitely go check them out. And of course, Acre Gold for all of your gold needs. Definitely go check the link right below. Let's get into it. Ladies, gentlemen, and my often forgotten, but most certainly not by me, M203s, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna talk about a little known subject, and that is going to be, you can own a goddamn grenade launcher. So not a lot of people know this, but to own a grenade launcher, all you need to do is buy a receiver. The receiver does not include the barrel. You can then take the receiver and e-form it. What e-forming does is it is you building your own uh, short-barreled rifle, or in this case, a destructive device. At that point, once the paperwork clears, you do what is necessary, such as engraving, you buy the barrel, and you have yourself a fully functioning grenade launcher. People may ask, do you need a grenade launcher? Well, during the Revolutionary War, people owned goddamn privateers, so you're goddamn right I need a grenade launcher. So, to start off with, we're going to talk about a couple of the different rounds that you can buy out there. I want to be clear uh, about the reason I'm bringing up grenade launchers, because recently the ATF has come down on your ability to own 40 millimeter ammunition by classifying it other than what it once was. Very similar to what has happened with armor piercing ammunition that is imported. So hopefully with a little bit more eyes on this subject, perhaps we can get those uh, restrictions eased a little bit. But in any case, to start off with, so the easiest rounds to get your hands on are chalk rounds. Uh, if you're in the military, you probably spent some time with chalk rounds. They're pretty sick on impact. You have a lot of chalk that comes out. So we'll fire this first one for you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like. That is your 40 millimeter chalk round. Now the question is, what other types of rounds can you get? Can I get HE rounds? Not legally, <laughs> but in any case, there are lots of very interesting rounds that the 40 millimeter has. I like to think of the 40 millimeter as kind of like a shotgun. There's a lot of very interesting, very uh, different rounds that you can get out there for different environments and different situations. You never know when you might need one, so why not have one on you? Now, besides the M203, there are, of course, a lot of other very cool grenade launchers out there. The first one we're going to talk about is the M79. M79s are easily had. They were made popular because of the Vietnam War. So, of course, we've got to talk about them a little bit. How the M79 works is it's a very cool mechanism, much like a break-action shotgun. To actuate it, you simply hit this lever right here. You can open it. At that point, we can pop in one of our rounds. Lock it into place. At that point, what we can do is we can pull off the safety, and then we're ready to fire. All right, the next one that we're going to talk about is going to be another standalone for the M203. So what's cool about the M203 is that there are a variety of different standalone launchers that you can mount the M203 receiver to. So there's two types of M203 receivers. We have the type that mounts to the underbarrel of an M4, like we had right over there. And that is what we have an adapter for right here from Fab Defense. So, in any case, of course, we have to try this out. Pop around right in. Again, the M23 is a very simplistic design. You have your safety right there. We can simply pop our safety off. If we need to unload the round, simply open it up and it pops out. So, load this up again. Pop our safety off. And we have our chalk round right there. So that is the standalone M203. Right here, we're just gonna talk about this one because it's much the same, but we have a Knight's adapter for a railed, excuse me, we have a Knight's adapter for a barrel-mounted M203 right here. So what's really cool about the Knight's is it has a retractable stock that you can easily mess with. So it is a very cool design, a little bit harder to get your hands on, but like anything made by Knight's, very well made. Right here, we have a very cool 
uh, design. Unfortunately, this one is harder to get your hands on unless you're an SOT or a dealer. So this is a B&T 40 millimeter. What's very cool about it is, of course, we have our normal sling points right here. We have the cool B&T stocks. But what I like the most about it is its reload mechanism. So we have this little latch right there. When you press it, that automatically pops up for you so that you can load your round right into there. So I'm gonna pop our round right in. So once you pop that in, we'll go ahead and we're gonna pop the safety right off. Then we can go ahead and send it around. Once you've done that, simply Pop that right up, pull your round out, and go into your next round with the BNT. So, very cool little design right there from BNT. So, right here we have the Pen Arms. There's another 40 millimeter. I like this design quite a bit, but there's something very cool about this that I just kind of the reason we're talking about it is this little 40 millimeter holder right here. So, it can go on either side of the Picatinny rail. We have single and double holders, and they're made by Hurricane Butterfly, who we want to give a big shout out to for this uh, video and allow us to do these videos on these 40 millimeter weapons. So again, another cool design. Definitely go check out Hurricane Butterfly uh, if you're uh, fucking around with a lot of 40 millimeter. Here's my personal favorite. This is one of mine right here. This is my little pirate gun. So I figured what would it be cool if we could make a 40 millimeter as small as possible and just make it really handy. So that's what we have right here. This is a standalone from LMT. Uh, no stock on there, just a quick and dirty little weapon if you need to fire a chalk, smoke, OC, CS gas, whatever have you. A very cool little handy device right there. Now, you do lose a lot of velocity on 40 millimeters when you uh, get rid of a lot of this barrel length, but nonetheless, they are still very effective. So much fun. All right, so we've been saving some of the good ones for last. So right here, we have the Pen Arms grenade launcher right here. Very cool pump action shotgun right here. So for expediency's sake, what we'll do is we'll have Sean help me load this right here. Thanks, buddy. Of course. <laughs> Sean right here, Army soon to be veteran getting out. I'm helping. Congratulations. All right, so again, what we're gonna do, you're simply gonna close that, lock into place at this point. And what we're gonna do is simply pump the weapon and pull the trigger. All right, we had one chalk round explode because that's how chalk works. But you can see the pen arms, very cool design right there. Next up, we have the Milcor. This is a South African grenade launcher. So it is relatively semi-automatic, but it is powered by springs. Very interesting design. Thank you, Sean. Of course. What are you gonna do after the military? Work at McDonald's. Congratulations. All right, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna have a twist. It runs off spring power. Once you have twisted it, what you can do at that point, go ahead and close this up. And then you can simply fire this bad boy. All right, so we have the Milkor. Very cool little design right there. Awesome little system. So there are a couple different ways you can set up for 40 millimeter. And to be clear, I'm not a grenadier, but I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of cool guys who really know their craft really well. So a couple different really cool products that we have out here is we of course have the Tactical Tailor 40 millimeter holders. They hold 12 individual rounds of 40 millimeter. They'll fit your less lethals, your more than lethals, all that kind of stuff. They are a good belt to use and they've been used all over the world. So well proven. Right here, what I have is one of the brand new Travis Haley rigs. So if you need a little bit more heat on you, just drop down that sub abdominal pouch and you can have a couple more 40 millimeters. And then again, to plug it once more, you can have an on uh, GL holder from Hurricane Butterfly. Lots of cool products out there. Definitely just find what's gonna work for you. Everybody has a different job, whether you're a uh, grenadier in the army and you have a ton of HE or if you're a LE and you have to carry them a different way, just find something that works for you. Good. That check for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> As we all stand. So right here, we're going to talk about some of the more interesting rounds you can fire. Of course, you have the chalk rounds, but we're going to get into some more interesting ones. Right here, what we have is a 40 millimeter wood baton, smokeless, multiple projectile, specifically three. So I can't wait to see how this works. This is a less lethal round. Let's go ahead and give it a shot right here. Less lethal. He's good. Okay. Oh, you're not supposed to shoot those into the people. <laughs> All right, so 
The next one we have right here is a 40 millimeter rubber baton multi-projectile, three rounds right here. So again, with these, you do want to be a little bit away. Uh, they are less lethal past a certain distance. It's important that you know that type of stuff before you shoot somebody with them. Again, he's still alive. He's good. It's a less lethal, so <laughs> you're absolutely good. <laughs> okay, right here we have a 40 millimeter sting ball, rubber pellets. These are interesting. You don't want to fire these into the upper torso of somebody. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hit them into the thighs or skip it off the ground into them. But, you know, here on the Grand Thumb channel, we're just going to kind of go ahead and send it. Less lethal. Beanbag. Ah, we have the Super Sock. So think of a beanbag on steroids. It's been lifting for a while. It's been eating a lot of chicken breasts. It's just ready to fuck your life in half. Jesus. Um. Super Sock. This is the uh, Super Sock. So, you know. Okay, what we have right here is an aerial burst 40 millimeter flashbang set to 100 meters. So this is kind of like if you want to let someone know that you respect them, but not that much. Cool. I'm loving it. So, we're gonna be testing out some OC, some CS tear gas, all that good stuff. But who better to test it out than one of our nation's finest, a United States goddamn Marine. So, right here we have Tyler with us. Tyler, you wanna tell us a little bit about you? Uh, I served in the Marine Corps for four years, Motor T. Hell so yeah. I always keep the hat pretty high anytime, <laughs> even in the civilian world, so. Do you wanna do, do a shout out to your unit? I'll give, I'll give a shout out to Jack Scott, Staff Sergeant. I don't know where he's at right now, but. I hope you're doing well, bro. Hell yeah. Tyler's also my brother-in-law, so anyhow, fuck him. Let's do this. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so we have a 40 millimeter Riot CS Smoke multi-projectile, 80 meter. Be free, little bird. Yeah! It ain't jit. Oh, I don't even feel it. Here, look at me. Oh, oh. I think you gotta go back in, bud. You think? I think so. Give me a full sentence, like ten words. Oh. Uh, you've ever been tear gassed by Grand? Have you ever been tear gassed by Grand Thumb? Hit that subscribe button. Oh. Oh, here, here. Now, with the eyes watering, now give me a if you've ever. If you've ever been tear gassed by Grand Thumb, hit that subscribe button. That didn't seem like it was horrible. Is, terrible. is that what we're shooting at Antifa? What the fuck? That's it? No, I'm good. So right here, we have the impact round CS. So this is the type of round you're gonna shoot. Uh, you're gonna skip into the ground, into a person, shoot into a vehicle, something like that, but it needs the impact against something to work. Ty, how you feeling? I feel good, dude. I you don't even feel it. He's great. So, we're going to shoot this one into a rock. Ty's going to experience this one as well. Didn't even phase me. Didn't even phase me. I can't feel it. I can't feel it. Right here, we have an impact round OC. 
a little bit of a different flavor, a little Cheeto. Let's try this one out. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that one still wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. Yeah, tear gas is much worse. Yeah. So, they say that the uh, those three projectile tear gas rounds, the ones that we use, are the ones that are have been used a lot of places because um, they are short range and they are very effective. You can see how the cloud is still sitting pretty heavy right there. Right. It's a lot of tear gas. Those, those uh, fucked you up pretty good? Yeah, those are the worst. I could feel it right in my lungs right away. You can feel it even before you hit like the actual color part of the, the cloud. But yeah, that, that was much worse than the CS. And this is a very popular round. So very cool if you can get your hands on these if you're in a position to do so. Honestly, they should be, of course, available to everyone. But unfortunately, laws are the way that they are. Hopefully, we can lift some of those and just everybody can get their hands on these. <laughs> Thanks, Buster. Yes, dude. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's down there. I thought he, it was he way just goes worse. like this. He goes. Inhale some of off your shirt. I, know, I had to, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an awesome, awesome little design. Well, guys, hopefully you uh, got to see how much fun 40 millimeters are. Hopefully these become much more available, and the ammunition becomes much more available in the very near future. Appreciate you guys tuning in. But here's the thing: make sure you get training with this. Make sure you check. Get yourself a 40 millimeter. They rock. Finally, before we go, I do have something else for you. Ty, will you come right in here? So Ty, I always let my uh, my guests, you know, get a little bit of dad advice since you got OC. Actually, it's really spicy. I'm kind of <laughs> breathing it in a little right now. If you want to go ahead and give these guys a little dad advice. Yeah, you. I'm going to say that don't compare yourself to anyone else. Just uh, be better than you were yesterday and just always do that every day. You know, you'll get to a farther place than you were, so. Love it, man. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you being on here. Yeah. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. A lot of fun. Tons more coming. Make sure that if you guys have gotten this far, you check out Survival Dispatch. Survival Dispatch is a site. It's a repository of survival information. Lots of great stuff. These are skills that we have lost. Make sure that you gain them back. Guys, a final shout out to my Patreon people. Thank you so much. You have made all this stuff possible. Love you guys. Couldn't have done this without you. I've got nothing else for you. We're done.